In this lesson, you'll learn how to connect projects and tasks to other important Notion databases, like docs and meeting notes. We say that two databases are related when an entry or multiple entries in one database relates to an entry in another. For example, you might have a document about an upcoming project and several meetings to discuss said document. Relations keep these pages linked together. Whether you've realized it or not, projects and tasks are two separate but related databases in Notion. This concept can be further expanded to create a truly connected workspace. If you're looking for meeting notes about a project, don't try to remember the date of every meeting you've had. Instead, use a relation property to aggregate them right inside the project page itself. We also have a concept of rollups in Notion, which allow you to view data from a related database. That's how the task completion rate on your project's database works. It looks at all of the tasks related to the projects, checks their status, and then rolls that data up into one nice number for ease of use. Let's go ahead and add some relation properties to our projects and tasks databases in Notion so that information flows better throughout our workspace. To add a new relation property, go to the three dot database options menu, then click properties and add a new property. Here, we'll select the type relation. At this point, you'll be prompted to choose which database you want to relate to projects. In this case, we'll pick documents. Since you likely have more than one document related to a project, we won't limit this relation. Now, we can go into our website redesign project and connect our project plan, engineering tech spec, or any number of other documents that are important to this project. We could follow the same process to relate meeting notes to tasks. Adding a new property, selecting the meeting notes database, and relating meetings. Back on our projects board, a rollup would allow us to see all meetings related to the project, even though in this case, projects and meeting notes aren't directly related. All we need to do is create a rollup property, select the relation we want the rollup to be associated with, and then pick which property to show on projects, in this case, meetings. That's it for this lesson. By using relations and rollups, you can easily aggregate information and view it in a more meaningful way. Don't forget to check out our template gallery to quickly add databases for your docs and meeting notes. Thanks for watching.